Welcome, Atomians, to Atomy International, the place where we learn and grow together and reach the top. My name is Mike Sujadi, a Diamond Master. On today's episode, we're going to present you a global leader from Canada. Let's find out who that is. Today, I'll share one of my favorite skincare products from Atomy. Thank you for Hello, accepting Mike. the invitation. Welcome, Masaeri. So, how are you today, Masaeri? I'm doing great as always. Perfect. So, if you don't mind, introduce a little bit about yourself. Oh, my name is Happy Virus Harry, Sherwood's Master in Atomy. I've been doing Atomy for, I believe, like six, seven years. I started Atomy in 2014. Um, should I go on how I met Atomy? Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. So, okay. you, so you joined Atomy back 2014? Yes. Okay. And if you don't mind me asking, how did you meet Atomy or how did Atomy meet you? Uh, basically, I met Atomy through my mom, so I didn't really got introduced to Atomy as a company. I got introduced to a product, so my mom gave me a pro um, the 66 skincare set and Hemohem. And of course, at the time, she introduced me about the company. But as soon as I heard the milk marketing company, I didn't want to hear anything more about the company side. But since the product was presented to me for free, I, I used it. And only reason I used it, it's not because it was free, because it was um, it was a gift from my own mom. Because, you know, as a mother, like a mother would not give any product that she wouldn't trust. So that's why I, I got into, I got introduced to Atomy product. Okay. So it's that and Himoim at the time. Okay, perfect, perfect. So before Atomy, what did you do? Uh, before Atomy, um, the longest job that I had, because I had uh, many different jobs, the longest job I worked at a bank in Canada. So I worked there for almost like eight years. I, I worked there as a financial manager for eight years. And if I didn't meet Atomy, I thought I will retire with the job because I was pretty, pretty comfortable with the job. And I also had like the dreams, what level I want to achieve on, um, on that level, um, on that job. So I was working at a bank and I was pretty happy. But I didn't know that Atomy will change completely change my okay. future. Right, right. So how long did you work at the bank? Eight years, is it? Eight years, yes. Eight years, okay. So what made you start Atomy as your business and when was that? So when once I started using the product, so the only two products that I started using it was um, skincare side, evening care side, and then the Hemohem. Um, skincare side, not so much, but when I felt the huge difference in my health, uh, with a Hemohem, I start researching about uh, Atomy information, Hemohem information, and my personal situation at the time. I just gave birth to my second daughter, so I was on a med leave at the time. So of course, I had a little bit of time to research a bit more information. But more I research about the company, I'm falling for it. And at the same time, I was looking for our opportunity to create a residual income. Like I mentioned, I was thinking of retiring at the bank, but if I could find the opportunity to find a residual income, I would jump into it. Yeah. But when I found Atomy, that's what made me decide to do Atomy business to get the true financial freedom of getting a residual income. So if I don't <clears throat> get it wrong, so you were okay doing with your previous job working at the bank for eight years and then you were on that cliff and then you started using the product and you fell in love with it why don't you try the business try to do the business okay perfect so what are your dreams to add me um with add me like you know once I started, once I started at me, I started watching many videos by CEO Hamdi Park because at the beginning there are not many videos available. So I was watching, and what CEO Hamdi Park asked us to do, write a life scenario. So I've been writing life scenario from the beginning. Um, I was starting at me, and my big, um, my biggest and the first the goal that i had when i started that to me of course beside creating a residual income i always wanted to create an orphan house so that's my ultimate goal of doing it at to me because i know that i will have a uh, plenty of money to use the rest of my life with that to me but what will i do with extra money so i always had a dream of creating an orphan house and my husband um, not, he's not doing it anymore but he used to be the, the taekwondo instructor 
So he really wanted to provide the free lessons to the, the children who won't be able to afford it. So through Atomy, I think we will be able to, you know, create an orphan house and in the orphan house, we'll be able to run the Taekwondo classes for free. So to strengthen their like, you know, mental health and the physical health also. Okay, that's very noble heart you have. <laughs> okay, amazing. So, where do you see yourself in two years from now and five years from now? Two years. I have a planning on um, challenging for the Star Master this year. So, if that plan goes well, and you know, once we plan and once we proclaim that I will go for it, and once you're planning on it, I'm sure we'll be. I'll be able to achieve it with the uh, um, effort with the team. So in two years, um, I'm hoping it's not me. I want to help many of my members, my, many of my partners to achieve Diamond Master, um, Cheryl's Master, even Star Master. And if if any of my partners can surpass my mastership, I think nothing can be happier than that. So in two years, I probably. Um, we'll be busy making many more part, uh, many more partners to achieve the same level where I am. Yeah. So all Atomians, if you know, whenever you succeed in anatomy, it's not just yourself, but you're actually taking your partners along with you, along with your success. That's right, Masayori, right? <laughs> so amazing. So if you are aiming for Star Master, that means at least there are four Sharon Rose and there are eight diamond master and how many 50 something sales master for 30 for 30 36, 30, 36. Um, minimum 36 sales masters required for the whole project right. yes. so at least 50 people got involved in the success in anime that's amazing and what motivated you to keep going in anime i'm sure you have challenges obstacles you feel like down and what motivated you to keep going um when i started at you of course i started for my own reasons, right? I want to, I want to achieve um, the, the financial freedom. I want to get the financial freedom by getting a residual income, and I want to achieve the list that I have written down on my life scenario. But as your level goes higher, which means your team is getting bigger, and people who are getting involved in Atomy and who's doing business with you, Atomy is not all about me. Atomy is helping them to achieve their goals too. So. Every day I go through different types of challenges and lots of rejections. But what if I give up? What if I give up because I can't not really overcome? It's not only my business. I won't be able to help out. I'm, I'm not helping out many of the partners who support me all this time. I'm not helping their business to grow either. So it's not only about me. Um, I guess like really a responsible. I feel responsible for my partner's success also because we help. Because the reason I was able to be in this position at uh, at this time right now, it's not all about me. I I was able to um, make a team with a lot of wonderful people. So of course I need to pay back to those partners. So uh, when I face the hard times, of course. I always look at my partners. I always look at the lineage. Oh, I cannot abandon all the people that who joined Atomy to do it together with me. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that's amazing. And I'm sure after your seven years in Atomy, there must be a lot of big challenges. So what was your biggest challenge in Atomy? There are, there are many challenges, but if you're asking me what is the biggest challenge that I can think of, um, it, it's a personal thing. It's a personal thing. So when Atomy, when at when I joined Atomy, the one vision that I have seen it was that Atomy will open in global countries. And the first country I was really aiming and I was hoping to go well was Atomy Philippines. And I spent, you know, financially I spent money and I spent a lot of time for planning. And it's not only my hard work, it's a hard work of all the partners who got involved. And when things didn't go well or things didn't go as the plan, of course, I was I was really disappointed. And at that moment, I always um, for I think for two months, I think every night, should I keep on going with Atomy? Will Atomy ever be? The business that I was um, that I was thinking of, two months, every night was like my inner struggle. That should I keep on going with that to me? But as I mentioned, if I stop doing it, people who got involved with me from the beginning, I'm abandoning them. That's so right. I want to be the person, not not just a leader. I want to be the person who will keep the promise. And what's the only part of that? 
when there is no hope, having a hope. Because I knew after the Philippines, it's not only after the Philippines. When the new country opens up, I can't see the result from that country also. And it's not only、um, other countries. I can also find、uh, amazing partners near here in Canada. So that、uh, that was the most hard. Challenging period for me, and you know when you're getting a rejection from your close friends. Yeah, I agree. Close friends, that that's the second hardest part. But once you see the vision of Atomy, there is no reason that you're gonna stop doing it, Atomy. That's right. So, <clears throat> so when was the time that you you wanted to quit, Atomy? I think I really need um. Even the time that I okay, should I keep on going with Atomy? My answer was always yes. The reason. Like I mentioned, I always looking for a way to create a residual income, and when I'm having a second doubt, oh, is that Atomy really gonna make me a residual income? What did I do? I go on a Google and looking for other opportunities. Is there other way that I could create a residual income? But my answer, nothing. Atomy is the only way that、uh, a person like me who doesn't really have a special ability,、um, who doesn't have、uh, like lots of network, who doesn't have you know like lots of like money to invest to do the business, the person, ordinary person like me, to able to achieve the dream of、um, getting a residual income, Atomy was the only way. So even if I felt like mentioned, even if I really on the edge of、oh, maybe I should quit. But still, my answer is I could not find any other options than adding me to create a resume. So it's pretty much adding me as your exit plan. Yes. That's it. So you don't have any other option.、Mm -hmm. That's very good. I mean, most of us we are doing adding me. We are not putting adding me as our priority. We are thinking of oh, I still have my job. I still have my business. So if adding me doesn't work, I'm still fine, right? So. Again, Atomians, if you really want to be successful in, in any kind of business, especially in Atomy, you have to make sure that Atomy is your only tools to create your success all the way until Empire Master. And we've talked about challenges, obstacles. Now, <clears throat> what was your biggest achievement in Atomy? Biggest achievement, my personal、um, achievement was when I achieved the Sales Master. Because it was a testing to myself.、Um, when I when I first started, I I didn't know anything about network marketing. I really didn't know how to do it. But sales master, becoming a sales master, it's、uh, just proving to myself that oh, I could do it. So when I challenge it, I challenge it after three months of really deciding to do Atomy. So if I decided to do Atomy April, I challenge July. And I challenge July, and, and, it, and I achieved it. And I didn't even I think I didn't even mention it to my members. I didn't. I was. It was really. I was going everywhere to complete the 2.5, 2.5. And if I add it to my story,、uh, my my second baby was only like eight months at the time, and my first one was、um, just over two years old. So even without all those hard times, I just want to prove to myself that I could do at me. And when I first achieved the sales master, when I saw the title change to sales master, I knew from the moment, you know what, I could do it. Even person like me with a you know struggling mom or a busy mom with a two babies, I can still do at me. So that was the biggest、um, achievement moment, the victory moment. But of course, when I become diamond master, the sharing was master. But I think it cannot really change with. The, the, the overwhelming, the, the excitement that I had when I first became a sales master. So when you are achieving the sales master, were your husband involved in the achievement?、Uh, yes, because he looked after my kids. Okay. <laughs> he looked after my babies, and what he did, he、um, he support me in terms of getting orders. He also tried to、um, ask his friends or his co-workers to get him more orders. Okay, that's the most important thing when you're yes, yes, for the yes. sales master. So okay, Ari is、uh, a Tatomian again. Ari is a person without MLM background, and she also has two small children, but she'll still be able to achieve her sales master alone, even though her husband helping with the PV orders for the Himo Him. But that's amazing. I mean. That's really the biggest challenge when you are already at the higher level. Most of those leader, they're actually missing those moments. They they are not in that level anymore. But again, we really learn from Aries、uh, Master Aries experience today, right? So since you are you had no MLM background and you also busy with the, the two childrens, was there any special strategy that you use? 
um, there is no special strategy for me. If I just compare with the baby's brain, since I didn't have any experience before, anything my sponsor tell me to do, I, I just absorb like a sponge and then I try to do it. So you know what we call it in that duplication. So anything that my sponsor area, you should do the lineage in this way. You should explain it this way. I try to duplicate what they are doing. And if I wasn't able to really get in touch with them in detailed, um, um, detailed questions, I always watch Still Hunger Park. Of course, he is our like the biggest leader in ad to me. So I always watch and I always make a note of all the um, all the the list of the things that Steve Hunter Park asks us to do and then I try to apply in you know daily activities daily activities when I'm doing it that me. Yeah, that is a very good strategy. Like most of us probably we're not used to doing MLM, but taking notes when you're listening to or watching VODs, that's a very good tool so you can remember next time when you're when you're in the situation that you need them, right? So that's a very good strategy. <clears throat> so if you were to redo Atomy all over again, what would you change? What would I change? So of course, all, all those changes happening at the beginning. So if um, can I share some of the mistakes that I made when I started Atomy? Yes. So in terms of creating a lineage, I didn't make any mistake because as uh, uh, my sponsors asked me to do, okay, Eric, you are doing, we're doing binary, but don't do binary for your partners. So I understood from the, uh, from the beginning. So I was really grouping my members in two long lines. The biggest mistake that I have made, I, I thought Atomy was busy at first. I know it's not an easy business where I could make money overnight, but I thought it was a pretty easy process, easy, easy system. Well, so once I introduce Atomy to a certain person and they sign up Atomy and then I provide the Atomy ID and password. So I thought that that's the end of it. My job is to help them to become a member. And once they become a member, okay, my job is done. That's how I thought at the beginning. And a couple of a couple of months later, I noticed that I was busy registering people, and I noticed a lot of people going down on my lineage, but I don't see any result. I don't see any PV coming in of my my office, and I'm thinking, what did I do wrong? So I learned, right? It's my our job actually starts from the moment they become a member, and we have to help them to switch their shopping mode like on the, on um, their personal shopping mode to add to me and teach them how to do online shopping because even way back then 2014 not like now not many people were fond of doing online shopping and people were being skeptical to using online using their credit card so i was missing all that follow follow up right following those all those members that i have registered so if i go back and do active start all over oh i'll spend a lot of time following all the members that I have registered. I will, I will, all the members that I have registered, I will try to make them as an auto consumer. That's right. So that's, <clears throat> that is one thing we can learn from Master Aerie. Once you sign up members, don't think that you already want. That is actually the, the start of your business. You have to make sure they switch from their own products to Atomy products. But I heard challenges in Canada, like, high shipping fee what kind of the challenges in the beginning states of oh, at the beginning okay so at the beginning the first challenge was the the shipping fee because minimum shipping fee at the time um whether it's a single order or the because we know in canada we do have a group order so both had a 350 minimum amount to have a ship, free shipping fee so how many people will just order 350 to waive the shipping so that was the biggest challenge too. So that's why nobody wants to order online on their own. And when I started it, we don't have the system anymore. But when I started it on the website, if you want to buy Hemo Him, there, there are four options. You can buy one set, two sets, three sets, four sets. What is, what is the difference? The so price difference. Is? So when, um, when you buy the one set, you need to pay $200. So buy more sets, the per oh. item product goes in lower. Mm -hmm. like so not prices. Only, yes. So not only him, only mm -hmm. all the Atomy product, even even care set, everything, all the product. I mean, we didn't have much product at the time when I started in Canada. But even thirty six number of items, you you have a four choices. You can buy three set or four set. But as a consumer, nobody wants to buy one set. Everybody wants to buy the four set to reduce reduce the amount of the the per box price. 
So it was very hard to convince members and nobody really wants to order online, zero. So for two years, my personal experience of doing it at me at, at that time, for two years, I didn't release the like, automatic PB coming in on my, my office. I have to help them with the online orders, but everything changing now. And with that, uh, I'm at me. When I started, we didn't have a two warehouses. Now we have a warehouse in Vancouver, warehouses in Ottawa. But at the time, we only had a warehouse in Vancouver. So people living in East um, East Region area, we have to wait seven days, seven wow. days for us to receive the product. And the biggest challenge was that we didn't have a hemo him on the website. Wow, seven days to receive the products. Wow, that's amazing. So. When you started, when you decided to, to do the Atomy business, so you had a lot of consumer or you had a lot of partners? I can say it was a mix. And be, so like, if I just add one more thing that in Atomy, we don't really have to like categorize, oh, okay, so I really just need to look for a business partner. I just have to look for a consumer. We just have to look for both categories, right? Even just consumer in the future, they will be able to turn as a business partner. But I didn't have that idea at the first, right? I didn't have a clear understanding at first. So I thought I have to make everyone who joined at me as a business partner. So instead of making them or instead of helping them to understand the product, I was busy explaining the vision of at me. So they haven't even tried the product, but I was busy. Let's make fifty thousand dollars. Let's go. Let's go all the way to the imperial. So I scare away a lot of people at the beginning. So um, at the beginning, I have a combination of people. So I I could not say I have a lot of consumers. I have a lot of business partners. I think I can, I have like a half and most um I yeah half like half con, um, business partner and then half consumers. Right. So this is the most what I call. <clears throat> situation even the imperial master the unbalance so what can you say about the unbalance you mean the unbalance of the pv or a balance of uh pv pv wise and uh, members wise um in the members wise that's something that i have learned it's really out of our control right uh, whenever we are registering members like at the end our hope is even the consumer really consuming a lot of product from atomy website eventually what we want oh i wish the member turned into our business partner so we are trying our best to convince the members to learn about Atomy, see the vision of Atomy. But that's the only, only part, only step that we, we, could, um, we could do it. Other than that, it's really up to the mind, right? Decision of the other person. I was under stress because, oh, I'm, I'm doing my best. Explain the compensation plan, explain the vision. But how come people don't, doesn't want to do ads to me? So I thought I was, um, it was my fault of not explaining well, or for me, not delivering the clear message. But CEO of Hangul Park always have the correct answer. Law of your own mind. So my job is to never stop sharing ads to me. Right? Regardless of the people, the personal situation, just share the ad to me. Whether they want to be a consumer or whether they want to do a business, it's their decision. Mm-hmm. But even if they, they are not doing the business right now, even if they just um, become a simple consumer, to me, it's a win-win. Yes. Right? To me, to me, it's a win-win. And in terms of unbalanced PV, like I mentioned, too, um, for two years, I was able to, um, I, I need to input the PV for my members because nobody wants to do the online shopping. Mm-hmm. So at that time, I was able to balance because I was doing it manually. But if if I, if I we understand ATME clearly, why are you doing ATME? Because we work hard for a certain number of years and certain times later, we want our system to work automatically so we'll be able to receive a system income automatically but if i keep put inputting a pv to generate the pv then of course once i stop doing it no income for me from at me so certain time later i figure it out getting the pv it's out of my out of my control too because i cannot order my members okay you should place an order on the july 1st or you should order place on the july 31st because at to me since we don't have any membership or monthly fee member can order anytime they want because all the members even i'm, I'm members too we're just simple consumers we are going to atomy website or we are ordering from atomy website whenever we need a product 
Yeah. So it's really out of my control. So uh, when I ex- when I when I start experiencing an unbalance of the PV, personally, I didn't feel anything. To me, when once I was going higher with the numbers, of course, mm-hmm. I I had a bit of like, oh, one, how can I make it balance? But I made sure, I I realized it's really out of my control. But as long as one side is going up, which means my business is growing. Mm-hmm. So I think it's it's a matter of like how positively you are looking at your business. Of course, if you're st- uh, maintaining maintaining the same number or your if your number is decreasing, okay, that that uh, trouble is wrong. You, you need to work on it. But at least one side is number is keep on going up. Then that's something we should be cheerful about. Exactly. Yes. Right. To only two franchise. But if one franchise is doing so well, then okay, let me put more effort on the on the other franchise which is not performing well. Then I can make it to balance later. But as we all know, we do have a final line, the ceiling. So it's not about our our focus should not be balancing the PV. If my one side is going higher and then it finishes 50 million PV first first, okay, then my job done. Then I can go back and look um, look on the other franchise which is not performing well. So that's another benefit that we're having from the compensation plan. Even though we have a um, unbalanced PV, once one line finished faster, okay, then we just have a remaining line for us to make it reach 50 million PV. Right. So Master Eri, uh, so a lot Atomian also experienced the same thing. They are trying to balance the PV even at the early stage when they are still at 300,000. They think, oh, my leg is too too strong, but. You're not really too strong until you get a ro- to your royal master, right? That's what our CEO always say. So, like our uh, like Master Eri said, don't worry about one leg is being higher because we have an income ceiling at 50 million. If it if it can, of course, go ahead to 50 million. That means your one side is done, and all you have to do is just work on the other side. That's one positive way to look at our situation. Don't get discouraged if you're. Imbalance because most of our were imbalance. Even Imperial Master, they're all imbalance. The most important thing is how you convert your other consumer to our Atomy product consumer and make sure they're all auto consumer, right, Master Eric? So, what are the tips that you want to share? How do you convert consumer to auto consumer? Uh, the, the one way is follow up. Follow up is the, it's the best way to make these ordinary consumers too. The order consumers. I'm not sure how many of you actually know about 48 hour rules. That's one thing that I I've been always um, I've been following from the start. To me, it was pretty interesting. And as uh, when I went to the first meeting at the center um, after I decided to do ads, me it was a part of the lecture. It was part of a lecture that once you register a member and then the member tried a product, you need to follow them up within 48 hours. Somehow that number 48 kind of stick to my brain, and I always try to follow them up. How did you like the product, or have you even opened the product, or have you received the product? So once I know that member has ordered a product, I follow them up until they receive the product. And once they open the box, I usually ask them like within 48 hours, or sometimes like um, three days later, I message them. I message them and ask, how do you like the product? And if the person hasn't even opened up the product or haven't tried a the product, they will say, oh, I was busy. I wasn't able to try the product. Then I will usually message them back a week later. So in that way, I'll, I'll be able to keep in touch, yeah. right? Keep in touch with the member, and with, since I I keep that relationship with a certain member, I'll be able to introduce more product. And even when I ask for a referral later, I build that trust with that member. So the member are willing to introduce me to some of their family members or friends. And once the member fell in love with the acting product, referral, getting referral becomes easier. Right. Yes. Uh, I think the. The follow up is one of the step in each step to success. I'm gonna put the link on the top here, and if you want, you can just check it out. And then I think it's step six, following up, right? So that's very important, like Master Eri said. Make sure once you already sign up a new member or you have a new customer, make sure you follow them up in 48 hours, not 48 days. Just remember that. So. A lot of uh, our viewers, they're all new people who just joined or who just started Atomy as their business. So, what are the tips that you want to give them? Oh, for the beginners, for new beginners, yes, new beginners. 
I, I, what I want to ask them is to have a clear understanding of what Atomy really is. Atomy is not like other other business opportunity out there that you join. That okay, you become uh, you become rich. You you will earn money overnight. But if you clearly understand Atomy, there is no way you will be able to be, uh, earn the money you want overnight. And once you start, try to follow what the CEO part or follow the follow the things that your sponsors asking you to do. Because what I have understood. Sponsors, if you understand Atomy composition correctly, sponsors or like even people who, who who are above me, there is no way for them to go higher or go to the level they want without help, the partners. So of course they always guide the partners to the to the right way. So whenever your sponsor asks you or ask you to do something or ask you to study something, uh, I will say just do it. Whatever I think they need to do, do it. The sponsor will never ask you to do something wrong. Because for guiding them in the wrong way and for you not doing well in the business, it will damage on the sponsor's business too. Right? So there must be there must be a way. I mean, there must be sometimes that you might feel like, why am I sponsor asking me to do? Because to me, it's not clearly right. But still, either you talk out with a sponsor, but don't um, don't do opposite way. <laughs> don't do it opposite way. And spend much time as possible to watch CEO Hungry Park. CEO Hungry Park and plus Dr. Lee. Because personally, I love um, Dr. Lee's lecture. Because by watching Dr. Lee's lecture, you'll be able to really keep up, right? Keep up your self esteem and it will really motivate you. So at the beginning, you will face a lot of rejection. So don't feel, don't take it personally with that rejection. They're only rejecting because they're not really sure with Atomy. They're not rejecting you personally. But in order for you to get over, um, get over with rejections, having the confidence with Atomy business, what this business is all about, and what this business can do for you in the future. But in order for you, in order for you to have that confidence, where are you going to gain that confidence? By watching, by gaining a lot of information about Atomy. So. As much as possible, have a lot of chat with your sponsor. And if your sponsor is not available, watch Dr. Lee or see a hunger part. Because Atomy has a great system, um, CH Atomy or Atomy YouTube channels, where you will be able to get lots of knowledge. Wow, that's a lot of information. So make sure you tell Tommy and to follow what Master A or you suggested. First, follow your sponsor or your upline because they're not going to harm you. They're going to bring your success because they need you for their own success, right? And watch a lot of FOD from our CEO Han Gil Park and Dr. Lee and make sure you do a lot of studying, right? Make, taking notes or even consultation to your uplines. That's the most important thing for you are just starting doing academy as your business. So the next question, or actually the last question, what are the tips that you want to give to partners? Like people already did the academy, but they feel like they're stagnant. They didn't go up any more better or, or higher place. So like expiring partners, <laughs> people that wanted to give up. Um, I, I have encountered many partners that I've seen, I've seen them with a full passion when they started. And you know, as time goes by, they're not seeing the um, income as they desire, or they're not going to the level of mastership one which they desire. And you know, once I have a conversation, because the best thing is, everyone have a different situation. And as we all know, at me, it's not only your ability, sometimes you need a lock too. Some people need the lock. When we, when, we, uh, when we talk about lock, yes, it could be a, your um, jackpot or a consumer that who will consume a lot of hemo hem, who will consume a big amount of PV, or you, you, you could find that jackpot partner, which means that the partner you've been uh, dreaming of, the partner who will plug into the system, the partner who will bring a lot of members to your group, partner who will just aiming for like a different mastership. Maybe you haven't met that luck yet. But luck is waiting. But luck is only coming to the person who's looking for. Yes. If you're just sitting down and just dreaming about it, luck will never come to you. But whenever I talk to the people that, um, when I notice their passion is going down with that to me, their PB is dropping down. When I start talking to them, since they already, I mean, they already have answer. Oh, acting is not for me. So even before, you know, doubting, self-doubting that Atom is not for you. We've seen the recently we have seen the 81 years old crowd master. I'm sure she also went through a lot of hard times. Atomy is for everyone. 
ad team is for everyone, but still ad team success is not for everyone. So why keep on doing it at ad team? Yes, um, when you go out, we will face a rejection. So just keep it to yourself. Remind yourself every day. Rejection is part of ad team business. You cannot separate ad team with a rejection. The amount of commission we're getting, amount of master's bonus we're getting, it's a reward of getting a lot of rejection. When you're getting a lot of, lot of rejection, what that means? You have, in, you have introduced activity to many people. And by doing that, you will be able to find that, you know, check for partner, what we call it, you'll be able to gain the lock. So people who are stagnant, of course, it happens. Every business, not only at me, every business, it happens. So it, um, in the times, if you keep on plugging into the system, which means if you're joining the regular meeting, if you're watching the online seminars, those things will kind of motivate you to, okay, let, let me let me move on to one more day and let me just go out tomorrow and let me just introduce one, um, two, one more person tomorrow. So it will give you courage to move off, move forward with Ati. So always put ad to me in your mind. Um, listen to CEO Hungry Park 24 hours. I think it could help also. <laughs> if we do have 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, those are Tommy and you can learn from us area about if you feel that your business is not growing anymore or you, if you're stuck at the position, make sure that you go back to the core, which is our CEO Hungry Park. And make sure you get a lot of rejection because rejection means that you're you're actually moving forward, moving forward. If you haven't never have any rejection, that means you just stay still. You, you're not doing anything. Of course, if you're not doing anything, you're not gonna achieve anything in Atomy. So again, thank you very much, Master Eri, for your time to do this one-on-one -on -one interview. I really appreciate it, and I truly wish your success to Atomy and reaching the top together. Right. And to you all Atomians that have watched this video or this episode, if you feel that you enjoy this video and if you like this video, make sure you like and you subscribe and you share it to your friends, to your groups. And don't forget to leave a comment or question that maybe hasn't been answered by Master Ari, right? So I'll see you all Atomians in the next episode. I'm going to give you a hint. The next global leader that I'll be interviewing is a star master from Malaysia and he's in the Royal Leaders Club member making over 200,000 a year. Just stay tuned and I'll see you all at the top. Aja, aja, aja. Do you like it?